Okay, so paddling alone often there's a couple of ways to do it, you know, for lake paddling. So right now you can see I'm sitting in what would normally be the front seat, but I'm facing the, what would normally be called the back of the canoe. Which, um, when you're by yourself in flat water and there's not a lot of wind, is actually a pretty comfortable way to, way to paddle by yourself. Um, it brings you closer to the center of the boat. So it's easier to control the boat alone. Um, you can see I'm using the J-stroke here uh, to keep the boat straight. I got the wind coming from over there. So uh, let's see here. Uh, in fact, there's enough of a wind. I can almost hold the line here without a J-stroke because if the bow is being pushed by the wind. So I'm when I stroke it moves the bow to the left and the wind is pushing the bow back to the right. So I'm kind of in a bit of a balance there. Um, the other option for now if you got too much wind, you know, and that can be Boy, let's say more than five knots, six, seven knots of wind. Um, the trick is it's quite difficult to, to paddle uh, across the wind or even into the wind. Um, and if you lose the bow off the wind um, and you're sitting where I just was, uh, it's quite hard to control the boat. So you actually. So the trick, or the technique, is you get onto your knees and you sit near the center crossbar and paddle from here. And it gives you more ability to control the bow uh, because you've got, my body is acting like a bit of a pivot point, you've got more equal distance uh, in front of me and behind me so it makes the boat easier to control in the wind uh, so you can have to if, if you're finding that if you're by yourself paddling and the wind comes up and you're having trouble holding the bow at any particular angle to the wind or even holding the bow into the wind if you come into the center like I am now that makes it a lot more easier to control and then of course if there's waves being down on your knees and um, in this a little bit lower in the boat gives you more stability because your center of gravity is lower in the boat which is basically also what whitewater canoeists do if there's any standing waves or whatnot the boat is more stable the lower your center of gravity is. So, so two tactics um, for paddling alone. If the wind comes up and you're having trouble holding your line, you come into the center like I am and it's a lot easier to control. Um, in lighter winds, which is kind of what we have right now, we've probably got two knots of wind right now, I can easily control the boat from back here. The chop is small, so having my center of gravity a little bit higher isn't that big of a deal. Um, if you're, <laughs> it is easier. <laughs> it's more comfortable to sit in the seat than to be on your knees, and um, you can get knee pads and things like that, but it is more comfortable. Uh, so I, I, I have to say it's I only go on my knees in the center of the boat if I have to. <laughs>